Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on how to cut a ribbon trim tutu and how to make one. It was Okay guys, this was kind of like a, not a last minute video, but um, I'm just gonna show you guys how I cut the tool for my ribbon trim tutus. Now I get the tool off the bolt, not the roll. You need to get a whole long piece of tool. I'll show you what it looks like. Um, you can get it at giftsinternational.com, which is at giftsintl.com or BB Crafts. I recommend BB Crafts because they ship faster and it, it's just, it's a better experience. Uh, Gifts International takes a long time to ship the items and they charge you a processing fee and their shipping is ridiculously expensive. BB Craft shipping is a lot cheaper and they process it so much faster, so that's who I go with. Um, so let me show you. I mean by off a of bolt, meaning it's the one huge piece, not the rolls. So you're gonna need this, you're gonna need some scissors, and this is a retractable measuring tape, but you can always uh, use a ruler, but You'll need like a big ruler because uh, maybe like a yardstick or something because you're gonna need to cut more than 12 inches. Guys, I know this really isn't the best angle. Um, this is for a 2T uh, ribbon trim tutu. So I'm gonna roll nine yards of it. This sheet, the fabric is two yards. So that's how I measure it out. You can just go to Joann's and just find your cheapest fabric and ask for two yards of it. So that's the easiest way. Um, that I found to do it. So I'm just gonna roll this out, um, down, back, down, back, and halfway. So two, four, six, eight, halfway would be nine. Now you're gonna cut it uh, at the nine yards. Doesn't have to be perfect. Hope this angle doesn't suck too much. I'm trying here. So I got scissors and five scissors and this uh, retractable measuring tape. Um, my husband, I got these off eBay. They're pretty cheap, but they, they come in handy. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut off one of the ends so I can make it even. Try to make sure you cut through all the layers because sometimes it does get stuck like this one did. Okay, so it's even now. So, so you're gonna start measuring from the part you cut. You're not gonna measure from the ugly side, the uneven side, from the side you cut. 16 inches. This is just for a 2T though, just a 2T. I'll put measurements at the end of the video. So 16 inches. And that's it. So now you have a two two cut for a two T. It is 16 inches, meaning when you fold it in half, it'll be 18, not 18, eight inches long. To get started, what you're gonna need for the two two is obviously the tool. Um, I wish I just cut in the previous video or the earlier clip. You can find that. A pair of scissors, a lighter, um, two big, these are like called giant safety pins. Don't mind my nails. <laughs> um, some ribbon. I use one and a half inch. Uh, this one is gross grain. Almost every tutu I use, I, wow. Almost every tutu I make, I use uh, satin ribbon, but this tutu is the gross grain polka dot. 
um, and elastic. This is, I got this from Joann's. It is the three quarter inch non-roll elastic. You can get it on the little rolls. Um, this just happened to be cheap this week and I had a 65% off coupon, so I went ahead and bought this. Um, and obviously you need a sewing machine. Now it does not have to be the sewing machine. I started with a different sewing machine. Um, I did get this from Joann's for about 150. It's usually 300, so look for it on sale. Um, but you don't need to get this one. This one just goes fast. Um, I make a lot of ribbon trims, so I needed to save, even if it was just five to 10 minutes for a tutu, that's why I got this one. Okay, so we're gonna be getting started and you put all this stuff away. You don't need this until after you're completely done sewing the tutu and this as well. So I'm going to put this away. Um, lighter you need for the ribbon. The ribbon I don't need at this exact moment. And this thread, I need this thread first. I'm gonna sew the channel first. The channel is what the elastic will be going into for the waistband. It's the easiest way to put it. You can be sewing the waistband channel first. On. So, what I am going to do is move this here for me. So, I try to wind bobbins beforehand. This may be, I don't know, this may not be enough, but, um, the machine usually comes with a bobbin winder. Um, so. so yeah, I am going to, and we'll see if I get lucky. I don't know, I don't know if there's 90 yards on here, we'll find out. Um, going ahead and put the thread on it. This is like, oh, the hardest angle to shoot because there's a wall right here, so I can't really do it from the other side. So I'm trying here, guys. I'm trying to figure out a way to do this. Maybe that's better. Okay. Um, where's my, oh, I already put it on there. So I'm gonna put the thread through. And I'm gonna say, my dog is probably gonna start scratching the floor upstairs again. She's right directly on top of where I am. So this is what like almost the full bobbin looks like. The one I have is pretty much almost empty, but we're gonna try it anyways. I don't wanna waste it. So this is gonna move around a lot because I don't have anything to prevent it from sliding. So um, Pamela recommended a, uh, what is it called? I think it goes in your cabinet for dishes, I think. I forgot. It's a non-slip mat or something. So I need to go get one of those. She said they have it at Dollar Tree. So at some point, I do need to get one because I save money on having to buy another one. So what you're gonna do is there's two pieces of tool. You're gonna keep both ends together and then you're gonna fold it in half. I'm gonna put the folded end. This is like all four pieces. The folded end is gonna go into the machine and you're gonna stitch forward. <laughs> Stitch backwards, the back stitch for like a second or two, and then you're going to make sure all the ends are lined up. It don't have to be perfect, guys, because it's just going to be ribbon at the bottom. But you want your ends to be lined up, and you just hold it and you. Stitch. Probably should have gone a little slower. And then you're going to keep pulling it and. Unrolling the, the, two, two, the tool that you rolled. And just make sure it's nice and even. Um, like I said, piece by piece. So another thing to measure how much, how far you, um, you make it. This is what it looks like so far. It's about an inch, just an inch. So on my machine, it's about to where the screw is. Let me see if I can show you guys. There's a screw right here. It's where this screw is, is where I usually put it. Just so that it's easy to put the casing in. All right, so then you're gonna keep straightening. And just keep straightening it out. Just keep straightening it out. And you make a piece of thread and you pull them off. I should have 
Okay, so it's 10, 11. So, we'll see how long this takes. When you're first starting out, don't try to go off fast. Take your time, just take your time. Keep pushing because the tool bunches up, pushing it back. I guess I can move it up a little bit. It will bunch up, so I will push it out the way because I don't I get worried it's gonna get like tangled. <laughs> Make sure you back stitch. You have to back stitch. So you go forward and then you back stitch a few st stitches and you go all the way forward. On my machine, it's a reverse button that you hold down and then you cut it. So the channel, the channel is sewn and now we're going to add the ribbon. And because the ribbon is black, this is 1.5, one and a half inch ribbon. That's the size I use for all my tutus, one and a half inch. I usually use satin. This one is the polka dot fabric, or wow, the polka dot ribbon. So for the polka dot, it only comes in gross grain. Or this is the one I like to use for polka dot. So um, you're gonna need, this is a size 2T. So it's a um, nine yard tutu. So you're gonna need nine yards of ribbon. Nine yards. So, like like I said earlier, depending on depending on what um, what size tutu you're making, you're gonna need more or less ribbon. Um, so you only need nine yards for this tutu. Um, I am gonna be starting. I am gonna start selling ribbon, not this one yet. Just solid color satin ribbons, double face ribbon. So look out for that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna heat the end of the ribbon because I don't know if you can see it's like frayed so you heat it and that is it now I gotta change the colors so I'm gonna put the black on because the, the uh, because the ribbon is black if I try to use pink on here it's gonna look a hot mess because you can see the pink going all the way through it's gonna stand out too much so use the same color Oh, by the way, it is now 10:18. So it took me about seven minutes to sew that. Now, believe me, when I first started making tutus, that took me about 30 minutes, 30, 40 minutes. So, like I said, take your time. You'll get faster the more you do it. You don't want to rush it and mess up. Okay, so take your time. Okay, so now I'm gonna start from the other end. All right, I hope this is a little better angle, or it might be exactly the same. So the channel, which is the part that you sewed already with the line going through, that is gonna be on the outside, outside. So the open ends is what you're gonna be sewing, the open ends. So what you're gonna do is, I usually unroll my ribbon. So what you're gonna do is you put the ribbon, the pretty side goes face down. 
Now with double satin ribbon, it doesn't matter which way you put it, but single face, the pretty side goes face down, it's down. And then you're gonna get your tool and the side with all four open ends is going to be going, so that's what you're sewing, on top of, you're putting it on top of the ribbon. So the ribbon's underneath and the tool is on top, okay? So you're gonna sew forward and then back stitch. And then you go forward again. And from here, you just, all you do is sew, just sew. Now, sometimes, like you see here, there's a little bunch of, I just push it under. And keep it moving. And that's about it. You don't want your, you don't want the thread, not the thread, wow. You don't want the tool going over the ribbon because then you're gonna have a sloppy tutu. So try to keep it inside. I say try to leave a little bit of ribbon on the outside. It's okay if it ends up being even, but you don't want it going over because it looks, it'll look a mess. So like this, try to keep it close. Close, close, close. Again, see it bunches up again, I just put it right under. It's okay. Now don't let it keep bunching up because your whole tutu is just gonna change direction. Try to keep it as straight as possible. Now I forgot what I didn't say was I try to keep my uh, let me move this over. I try to keep my press foot about right here. So right, I try to line it up with this because it'll sew. What is that? A quarter of an inch down. So that's how I try to keep it. Um, and like I said, try to keep it like this. Don't get the tool coming over because it's gonna be sloppy at the end when you go to make the tutu. It's just gonna you'll see all of this. So you don't want to do that. So. Try to keep it close, close to this. Like sometimes it happens, but it's close. And like I said, just try to keep the presser foot, I don't know if that's what it's really called, but um, lined up with the end of the ribbon. Sorry for the 10,000 different angles, but I'm trying to help you guys out and try to make it as easy as I possibly can. If you have any questions, you know, feel free to comment them. I'll try to answer them, but I do get 10,000 questions on ribbon trims already, so I'm finally making the video. Um, so I hope this answers all the questions, but I'll still, uh, I'm still open to more questions. I can make another video, not a problem. So I'm just gonna keep sewing. Now, before I get all the way to the end, I uh, cut the ribbon to line up close. I leave a little extra ribbon um, because if you wait until you're up here sewing and you're done sewing, you're gonna uh, have to you're gonna melt the tool. So I don't do it that way. So I heat seal the end of the ribbon. And don't forget to back stitch and cut it. That is legitimately, that's it. That is it. It's, it's all sewn. Um, that's all for most of the sewing. So one more time just for the, the end. So this is a 2T2-2. So I need, I need uh, 18 inches. This is for the waist. 18 inches for the waistband. So I'm gonna measure 18 inches and then cut. And when you 
comes to this this waistband is what we're going to be waistband is what we're going to be putting into the channel that's what's going to go on this side so i actually actually bought these paper clips on accident they're supposed to be the straight ones but they're, cur they're curved these actually work so much better to make tutus it, it worked out so you put one in top that's it and then on the other side i leave some space about two inches and put it in sideways like this so it'll be like this so the tool won't go all the way back off because then you're screwed pretty much you gotta start all over again so this is to stop the tool when you're when you're uh feeding it through and this is to help you feed it through this side straight up like this so I started from the ugly side facing me. This is what I call the ugly side, where the tool's showing behind the ribbon, that's the ugly side. So I gotta pull it all the way down. Oh, I forgot to cut this thread, so let me cut this thread. So, you want to make sure you keep this straight. You want this to curl up. So you're going to put it in, like I said. Ooh, the ugly side facing me. It's facing me. You're going to put it in at the end. And put it through. And you're going to feed it a little bit. And then pull it. Okay? Feed it. Feed it. Feed it. Feed it. Pull it. Okay? And you're going to keep doing that. If you're not used to doing this, your arms uh, may hurt a little bit. Sorry, those are the, I don't know if you hear it, but the landscapers are outside, mowing the lawn. Just gonna keep feeding it. Got a message on Facebook from a YouTube watcher. Shout out to you, Melanie! Keep feeding it. This this part is tedious, especially when you have a lot of tutus to make. Let's see what time is it now. It started at 10:11. It is now 10:30. So 19 minutes. Believe me, it's going. To, you could do it fast as well. And mind you, I did talk a lot in this video, so there's that. So it does take me. 19 minutes is pretty fast, but <laughs> I say maybe 15. But well, that's because this is a smaller tutu. It's a size 2T. And it's not completely done yet because you still got to uh, sew the two, two, the two ends of the waistband together. So I'm just going to keep feeding this through. And I'm going to speed this part of the video up because I'm sure you don't want to see you this ten. Okay, so I finished stringing it. So it is now on the waistband. Now, on your sewing machine, there should be a zigzag stitch. I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, dang, I can't, I'm done. If this is the zigzag stitch, it looks like a zigzag. Wow, this looks completely different on the camera. Okay, let me move up. This is a zigzag stitch. Um, so that's just gonna make it a zigzag. And then the length, I put about three. So uh, take the clips off. So my machine for this part always has problems. So it's putting it out there. So you make sure it's not curved, not twisted, nothing. It's straight. And you're gonna put the two ends together, together like this. And I overlap them about an inch. And then it's gonna be hard to see, but I put that end in the machine 
and I will zigzag stitch. I don't know if you guys, you guys probably can't even see this. Hmm, how can I do this? I don't think I can get a better angle. So I can't do this with one hand. Let me see. Okay, so this is the best angle you're gonna get. Uh, it's probably the safest angle for me because the machine, the camera is literally right in front of me, and I can I can't even see the machine. I'm looking from my phone, so hopefully this works out. So the overlapping pieces here overlaps. The overlapping. So you're gonna do the zigzag stitch down back. You're gonna do it all the way down, all the way back, all the way down, all the way back. That's just how I do it. Okay, guys. So. I did have some issues, the needle broke, so I just had to just go ahead and just do it off camera. So, this is like the side that it's when it broke, the stitching wasn't working. So, this is a zigzag stitching, what's supposed to look like if you can see the zigzags up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, and then I went back. So, that is it. I'm gonna redo this side because this side looks hot mess. Okay, so now you're done. Sewing, so you just move the tool around, make it even. This tutu is gonna get a bow on it. So this ugly part is where I put the bow. So I'm just moving all the tool around so that the two end pieces, the open pieces, so they will be um, in the back. So I'm just moving it around. Make it even try to get rid of like the white waistband showing. And here we are. It's nice and full, nice and flowy. And that is how you make a ribbon trim tutu. Thanks for watching, guys. Please make sure you subscribe. I'll be making more videos and comment on any other videos you would like to see. Alright, guys. Bye.